Hey, it's Clay here at the 50 Acre Homestead. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to ch hatch chicken eggs from start to finish. It's really easy to hatch chicken eggs. It only takes 21 days, three short weeks to hatch chicken eggs. So let's get into the video and show you how to hatch these chicken eggs. This is the incubator I'm using. I got it from Tractor Supply. All right, step one for this incubator is to add water to, they call them this, the water pot A. And this is the egg I'm going to be incubating. I went to my brother's and got some eggs from him, some Dominecker. Some of these are Dominecker eggs, some are lavender eggs, and these three are of my eggs for my chickens. And we'll just see how they do. I got the A pot filled up with water. It's just water right in the center, looks like. And then it says the last three days, three to five days, I take this off and fill the whole thing up with water. But let's get the eggs in. It says to put the eggs in with the pointy end facing inward. And your eggs have to be fertile eggs. They have to be come from hens that's been with roosters. And I have my incubator set up in a climate controlled warehouse at 74 degrees. All right, I got the eggs. I got the top on, let me plug her in. things digital it tells you the humidity one of the most important things they say is the humidity level All right to reset this incubator timer to count down to 21 days you got to match the menu button and the minus button at the same time for five seconds and there we go Let's see if it reset to 21 days. There it is, day 21. This incubator will count down all 21 days. We got that right, reset. Let's do a egg turner test, make sure it's going to work properly. properly. There it goes. That's working properly. Says to set the vent to halfway. And you want the humidity to be between 48 and 55%. So I just got this started, so it hasn't regulated yet. But we'll keep an eye on it and check it every day. Check the water level and check the humidity level. And we can adjust it with, the, with this vent right here. So that's what we're going to do. We all set. Let's see how it works. 21 days and we'll have chickens. It's been about... 12 hours since I turned this incubator on. The humidity's a little bit high at 61. I'm gonna open up the vent a little more. And it says to be between 48 and 55. Temperature's at 99.5, that's all right. It's day two, we got the humidity about right, 55% humidity. Got that vent over halfway open. We need to add a little water, the water's a little low. And I had to add water about every other day. So you need to keep a close eye on the water. You don't want to let it run out. And I just leave this little water there to where it's room temperature. It's been about 10 days and it's time to candle these eggs. And you candle these eggs by shining a light to see if you can see through them or see if there's anything in them. And this incubator has a light on it to do that i've got this egg out and this egg looks to be good I, I can't see through it it looks like there's something in it and here's another egg it looks like there's something in that one also see that dark spot I think that's a bitty. And we'll check another one here. See that one? That one does not have a bitty in it. See how you can see through it? That one can be discarded. And we'll discard that one. Here's another one. You see you can't see through that one. 
I would say there's a beauty in that one. All right, there's three days left. In the last three days, you want to raise the humidity between 65 and 75 percent. I'm at 55 now. So on this incubator, it has this red spot there. You want to put water all under the incubator. I've got to fill this one up. And when there's only three days left, the egg turner stops turning and you want to remove the egg turner tray right there. And I forgot to remove it until they started hatching. I removed it after they started hatching. pretty full and then I open my vent all the way up and I'm going to wait about three hours for the humidity to stabilize and come back and then I'll adjust this if I need to to keep it around 65 to 75 percent humidity you want more humidity when these biddies start hatching you don't want them to dry out so I'll keep a check on this water level make sure I keep plenty of water in in a couple of hours, we have 72% humidity. That's about right, between 65 and 75. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on this water level. But we're gonna have chicks in a three days. These eggs are gonna be hatching tomorrow or the next day. And I've got to get my brooder cleaned out so I can put these babies Before in. your eggs hatch, you need to set your brooder up. You need to have some type of brooder system. I have this big oval wash tub. It's about three feet long and about two and a half feet wide. And I have wood chips down in the bottom of it. These are fine wood chips is what I use. You got to need a watering source and you need a food source and you need to get chick starter and grower food. And I have this feeder here, but also when I first put them in, I'll take this out in a couple of days. But they like to, they seem like they, they like to eat out of this better than they do the feeder. And you need a heat source. You need a heat lamp or you can get a heat plate. I got this heat lamp. I've had it here. So that's what I've used. This is the third time I've used it from hatching out these biddies. And you don't want to get this heat lamp too close to them that it burns them up. You want to have it where if they get cold, they can get under the heat lamp. If they get hot, they can move down to this end. I have my heat lamp set up about two and a half feet above them. And that's what you need. Well, it's been 21 days and the biddies are starting to hatch. We got one already out. You don't want to mess with these. You want to leave them in the incubator till they dry, completely dry and fluffy. So we just going to let him stay in there probably for about eight or 10 hours, maybe 12 hours, we'll see. Let's see how many more is gonna hatch. It's been about six hours and we have four that have hatched. We got one more right there that's hatching. That one just hatched, he's still wet. These are almost dry enough to take out. I'm gonna let them stay in here a couple of more hours and I'll take them out and put them in the brooder. It's been about nine hours. We have six babies. There's a couple that's probably dry enough to take out, but I'm gonna wait at least 12 hours. Here they are after I took out the egg turner. When you take your chicks out of the incubator, you don't want to take them out till they all the way dry. You want to dip their beaks. Make sure they get their beaks in that water. They know where they know the water's there. And whenever you fix your brooder up like this, you want to have it predator proof. 
you want to make sure you have it in a location where predators can't get to it or you have to put a top on it with small wire holes so snakes can't get in it. Snakes love to eat them. Cats, possums, coons, they all, owls, birds, they all would eat these things if they was out somewhere where they could get to them. I have mine in this climate controlled warehouse and I'll leave them in here for about three or four weeks and then I'll take them out and put them in a different brooder. And here they are about three days old, four days old maybe. They're getting along pretty good. They growing pretty easy. Well, that's how you hatch chicken eggs. It is really easy to hatch chicken eggs, not a whole lot to it. And I had, out of 12 eggs, I had 10 to hatch, so that's pretty good. I hope this video helps somebody out to, to hatch chicken eggs. And if you do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.